Hello YouTube, welcome to the Cordipiti channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make a cobra knot bracelet with a buckle. I've prepared a 3-8 buckle and about 4 meters of paracord. First you find the center of your paracord and run it from the top side of your buckle and back up creating a loop. Next you just take both your ends and run it into the loop and this is called a cow's hitch knot. Run the two ends into the other side of the buckle and adjust your size. Make sure that you leave enough space for the knot. You can measure your setup against a ruler and add about three centimeters from the size of your wrist. Once you have the measurement down, tie a half hitch knot on both sides by placing your strand above the core, down the middle, and back into the loop. Do the same thing for the other side. And now you have your setup ready for the main knot. To tie a cobra knot, take one strand and run it on top of the core. Wrap it around with the other strand and take your second strand down and into the loop on the other side. You have created a ridge and the strand coming out of the ridge will always go on top of the core. Wrap the top strand again and take your second strand down and into the loop on the other side. Remember the strand coming out of the ridge will always go on top. Wrap the top strand again and take it down and into the loop on the other side. Just repeat the knot until you have reached the end of your bracelet. To finish it off, take your second strand and run it into the loop on the other side so the knot finishes at a single point on the back side of your bracelet. Trim the excess cords. melt them down
and you have yourself a cobra knot bracelet. You can add some stitching work into the bracelet which comes in an endless amount of types and variations which we will discuss in later videos. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this tutorial then please hit the thumbs up. If you want to see more videos please hit the subscribe button and if you have any question or suggestion please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and happy weaving.